Mew's point of view. I was really surprised to hear that we were in Yardrad. It is very different from the last time. Its environment and energy have changed since the last time. But the good thing is that we were on a known planet and with people I know. Let's talk to him so he can give us a place to sleep. I told Wiss, and we went to the top of a mountain. When I arrived at that place, there was a little house. It was rather humble, the lights were on. And outside in a chair, there was a person with a cup in his hand while looking at the moon. I see that you continue with your hobby, Pybara. I told the person as I approached him. The person called Pybara smiled, and under his gaze, he saw the goddess of destruction approaching. It has been a long time, Mrs. Mew. What brings you here? I had in mind to leave as soon as my Goku recovered, but was told me that we were in Yardrat. The truth is, it's very different from the last time. I answered him while looking at the surroundings. Yardrat has changed since it was saved from those villains. Luckily, it was all for good. So that boy is your partner? What happened to him? Pybara asked with curiosity. He inhaled a toxic gas from a planet while fighting Frieza. Luckily, Wiz cured him. But he won't wake up for a week, the goddess replied while looking fondly at the Saiyan. Wow against Frieza? If he's here it means that he won. So when he recovers, you want me to train him right? He asked her looking at her with a slight smile. How did you realize? I don't remember you being insightful. I answered in a playful way sticking out my tongue. I had in mind, it sounded quite suspicious, especially coming from you Mrs. Mew the Yardration told me. Haha <laughs> it's okay, I admit it, I want you to teach him the control of the spirit. He has a lot of potential and a lot of desire, so you will like to have him as an apprentice, I told him, smiling at him. I understand, so let's start making him recover. Please follow me, he told the goddess of destruction, and then entered the house to guide her to a room and leave Goku on a bed. Thank you, Pybara. By the way, can you bring us something to eat? I'm starving, and surely wist to I told him, with my hands on my abdomen. Ha ha, I'm sorry for not having offered you before. You will have to wait for me to cook. So I apologize, I will start. The Yardration told me before leaving the room and going to the kitchen. I took advantage and went back outside next to Wiss, who was sitting looking at nothing. Mrs. Mew called Wiss seriously while I was looking at him. What do you have in mind? He asked her with curiosity. What do you mean? I asked him for food because I'm hungry. And you probably are too I answered him while I shrugged my shoulders. I wasn't talking about it, I mean. Doing everything you do for son Goku? We even returned to Yardrid after a thousand years. Will you also complete the training you left pending here? Wiss asked her with a lot of curiosity. Wiss, I called while I looked at the sky. I said it once, and I will say it again. I love son Goku. I don't care if he is strong or mortal. I love him with all my being, even if my family is on the way. Then I looked at the angel again. He wants to be strong. That's why I asked you to train him. And if you refused, I would do it myself. As for the training, I left here. I will resume it and finish it if I want. He I answered him, and then smiled. Mrs. Mew. Wiss whispered with a slight smile as she watched as the goddess looked back at the sky. Without a doubt, your mother will be very proud of the person you have become. Really, unknowingly she is walking in her mother's footsteps. I still remember when Mrs. Diana completed the spirit control training. The angel remembered with nostalgia the old days. Little by little, the days went by. Mew did not detach himself from Goku. She even bathed him every day, while Whis and Pybara talked almost all the time until finally the Saiyan opened his eyes. Goku was slowly opening his eyes. The first thing he did after opening them completely was to look to the side and see Mew sleeping in a chair. The Saiyan got up, got dressed since he was only in boxers, and when he did, he took Mew's chin and implanted a small short kiss, then whispered, good morning Mew in her ear, making the goddess of destruction wake up. And when she saw the Saiyan in front of her she threw herself on him, and began to kiss him all over his face. Goku, at last, you woke up. She told him before putting her head on the Saiyan's chest and starting to sob. The Saiyan began to caress the goddess's hair with a lot of affection. I'm sorry I mismanaged things, but well, from mistakes, you learn, right? The Saiyan said cheerfully. Mew looked at him with her watery eyes, and then put her face back on his chest. Silly, I thought I would lose you. I tried not to give up, but my body didn't respond. I felt like it was tearing everything apart inside. But when you gave me that news, it gave me enough strength to resist until the pain disappeared. And then I fainted. Goku answered her while scratching his neck. Mew smiled, and then looked at the Saiyan. A small blush had taken over her cheeks. Then, she said while playing with her fingers. Goku smiled and put his hands on Mew's waist and then raised her. 
You have made me the happiest man in the whole world. The goddess hugged the Saiyan. I love you, she whispered to him before kissing him passionately. But suddenly, the door opened. Mrs. Mew are you here? Pybra asked kindly until he saw the couple scene. Oh my apologies. He apologized and quickly left the room. Goku and Mew separated from kissing and stared at each other for a few seconds, and then began to laugh out loud. Come, I'm going to introduce you to our teacher. Mew told the Saiyan before taking him by the hand. Goku was surprised, he had heard correctly, did you say our teacher? But, he was stopped by a finger on his lips, courtesy of Mew. Honey, just follow me, please, she told him with a tender smile, and a kind tone that hypnotized the Saiyan, who could only nod before his partner. After leaving the room, they went outside, and there were Wiss on one side, talking through his staff, and on the other was the Yardration jokingly meditating, where are we? Goku asked as soon as they went outside and saw that it wasn't Namek or the Earth. We are in Yardrit, and that man who is sitting there will be our teacher. Pybara, stop doing those weird things, and come. Mew yelled at the Yardration, who stopped meditating and went to where they both were. I see that Mr. Goku has woken up, he commented when he saw the Saiyan. Don't say it, you saw us kissing, well anyway, Goku, this is Pybara, and he is the leader of the Yardrations, and he will teach us spirit control, Mew said very animatedly. I'm sorry, I was looking for you so do you want to start right now, or after eating? Asked the Ardration, making Goku and Mew collide their eyes complicitly. Time skip. Ah the food was so good. Goku said, while lying on the chair. I must admit that you are very skilled in the kitchen, Mew said to the Ardration while raising her thumb. He thank you, your compliments honor me well. It's already time ready? He asked both of them, and then saw Wiss, who kept talking through his staff. He won't eat? That's right. You have to take down this food by training, isn't it, Goku? Mew exclaimed animatedly, looking at the Saiyan who stood up quickly. Yes, yes, I can't wait to know what kind of training we will have, Goku said, trembling with emotion. He Mew said, looking the other way Mrs. Mew has completed half of her training now it's the most difficult, and as for you, I just hope you don't give up, he said while an anime-style drop fell down the back of the neck. What do you mean by I hope you don't give up? What would he wanted to say to me? Goku said to himself mentally, don't worry about Wiss, he will eat later, let's start once and for all. Mew screamed, raising her fist. At dusk, Goku and Mew came out of showering, but they met Wiss who was very serious. What's going on Wiss? Mew asked curiously. Father called, he immediately wants the destructive gods for a meeting, he responded to the goddess of destruction. Tisk, well, Goku, you will meet several gods of destruction who do not do their work, she told him putting her hand on the Saiyan's shoulder. Seriously? Does it mean that I will meet everyone? Great! He exclaimed animatedly. Ah uh, no Mr. Goku will not be able to attend, Wiss said. But at the end Mew turned around. If my Goku doesn't go I won't go. If you're worried that those arrogant people will try to hurt him don't worry. I just... I'll kill them, she replied with a kind smile. Oh you don't change, Mrs. Mew, but it's okay. I'll allow it because you're pregnant. But try not to get into trouble, Wiss warned her as if I ever got into trouble, she responded by making a pout, haha Mew let's do what Wiss says, or we'll make him look bad to right, Goku said with a slight smile, it's fine, well, let's go now Mew exclaimed, and the three of them left for Zenosama's palace.